right, and coming up on our left, we see the very historic Harlem. Harlem was originally built in 1847, but uh, and was largely uh, inhabited by the black community of New York We're City. A ways from Rach- Harlem. Yeah, I know. You see a tour bus coming the other way and getting shot, <laughs> like people engaged in fire, like car, car, everyone stop, car. <laughs> And over here, we'll see some division agents uh, enacting uh, extrajudicial uh, killing prowess on a group of unarmed uh, uh, New York citizens. Best and on take our North right is a good view of the Statue weapons. of Liberty. Get your cameras. Is there a mission in the Statue of Liberty? Do you gotta like, no. like go up there and like you gotta plant the American flag on the Statue of Liberty because we gotta show the world that America is you know is still the Statue of Liberty. I don't think you. I don't think you can actually uh, go that far south. At what point does Spider Man step in? <laughs> Spider-Man fucked off a while ago. Do you think like do you think a lot of the vision agents are like any minute now? Spider-Man, yeah. Any minute, we got Spider-Man, and you get the message like, "Sorry, Sony says I can't play." Right. Oh, dang it! All right, well, Daredevil then. Just uh, Jessica Jones, anybody? Anybody with a suit? All right, mission number four. Agent, oh man, is this the Napalm mission? No. All right, so uh, what's this about napalm? No, we're not at the napalm bit yet. Spoilers. Oh. <sighs> you got all my hopes up for nothing. Yeah. <sighs> You're the worst. Well, eventually. Why is everyone orange and made out of that? It's like some sort of. Oh, this is an echo. <laughs> it's a joke or an art joke. <laughs> so it's a semi-futuristic thing. It reconstructs data that they found and localizes like, it in 3D like Daredevil. For some reason. Yeah, it's like Daredevil. Oh man, Daredevil's. A, a you think they're waiting for Daredevil? Huh? You think they're waiting for Daredevil? Like, yeah. any minute now, well, Spider-Man was a bust, but Jessica Jones and Daredevil, they'll be here. Yeah, they're not coming out of They got canceled. Fuck. Fuck. Well, what Jessica about Iron Jones, Man? Jessica Jones didn't get canceled. Iron Man? Iron Man's still around, like, and he's he's one of Marvel's most popular heroes. Mm. Ooh. Well, not anymore. E- yeah, about that. Guess you didn't get invited to a funeral. This takes place during the Thanos snap. <laughs> That's a... That would actually be amazing. Fucking Division is a fucking post, uh, post-Infinity post War game. Yeah, what do they call it? The, uh... There's a term they come up with it in, in Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. I oh, don't spoil it. Uh, they call I think they call it the, the Floop or something like that. The Floop. I would've called it the Oh Snap. You know, because that's real pertinent and yeah. uh, very topical... Oh, a very topical snap. phrase. Everybody still says that, right? All them Fortniters. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going around oh, being like, gee willikers, oh snap. Um, yeah. Oh shit on my dick. If I remember correctly, this mission's quite hard. Is it? I remember me and Sandy having trouble with oh. it. Oh. Well, you see, you're not me. You're not You're not Karen. No. To be fair, Karen is determined. Jesus Christ, he was surrendering there. Yeah, well, fucking no surrender. Help! Choose bag. Choose bag, the explosive one. The other explosive one. That was my favorite thing to do in Mass Effect 2 is if you shot the head off the uh, the Yimmer oh, yeah. mechs or the big the big mech dudes, uh, they would explode in like a nuclear bomb. It was amazing. It would wipe out all the enemies near them. I can see you, dude. There you go. He and now is like, okay, I got the element of surprise, <laughs> and then he comes around the corner. Ah, oh, Jesus! I gotta get out of here. Oh, fucking Christ! Oh. Mm. Trying to trying to shoot his tank. Oh well. You just kind of gave up there at the end. I was like, Ugh. The blood lass. <sighs> Remember me as a brilliant minion. <laughs> oh, don't do that. God damn it, game. Uh, you're on fire, Aaron. I was trying to jump past it, but it fucking. Oh, so that was, uh. Yeah. Eh. I don't know, I'll just do a hell thing. Nice graffiti on that train. Is it? Every day, Doctor. Very yeah. colorful. A mouth on I had a nose to that sun there. You just see a Banksy thing where the, he has some sort of poignant metaphor or a poignant artwork to, depicting the division as bad guys. And everyone's like, yeah, we know. We know the division is bad guys. We know they bad guys. Why do you think we're so afraid of them? It's a bunch of college kids running around with assault rifles and licensed to kill. Yeah. Aren't any of them military people? Like, no, well, we assumed that all the military people Not would already one. be dead in this situation. So we wanted to go with a group of people that we knew would probably survive up until this point. We're thinking college kids there because they probably wouldn't even know that the apocalypse is going on. 
Because, you know, they're all still too busy studying and asking for, I don't know, like, avocado toast. Is there a... They show up at the meeting, the, the first division meeting. Um, is there going to be avocado toast with this? Uh, no. no. <sighs> and half the room gets up and leaves. Like, wait, 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 wait. That's negotiable. It's negotiable. That's why they're so mad. That's why. That's that's Karen's mission. She wants to get that fucking toast. Um, the toast came out and it was hot. Hot toast. I want to speak to the manager. Yeah, toast. But ma ma'am, ho toast is supposed toast. to be hot. Host. Toast is supposed to be hot. I mean, where'd the frame rate go? What the fuck? Karen gets so mad, she's losing the frames. Can you imagine that? You get so fucking angry, you start perceiving the world shittier. Like your rage is dragging down your perception of the world. That'd be a Kojima kind of mechanic. That's what Jordan experiences every day. Yeah, get it away, people, before I shoot you. I gotta, I gotta get Do any of you know where the manager is? <sighs> well, there is napalm in this mission, Adam. Yeah. But it's not the it's not the napalm mission. <sighs> what is even the point? Yeah. Well, one day, millions of years from now, we'll get to the Napalm mission. Do you think around this time, uh, the, the movie Fievel is happening? The what? The movie Fievel. Have you never Fievel? seen American, or sorry, an American Tale. Sorry. You know. Oh. I think Somewhere you mentioned that the last time we played this game. What? We did a special in this a while ago, and I remember, I think you mentioned it in that as well. An American Tale? Yeah. Jesus Christ. We're talking about 90s foods and for some reason 90s movies also. Came oh, out. I remember that. That was a good ep that was a good special. Dark, uh, uh, American Tales almost as good as uh, Ninja Turtle pies or whatever. Fievel. Papa. Is that his name? Yeah, his name is Fievel. Fievel? Five well, okay, so to very briefly explain the plot of an American Tale, it's based off the um, off the uh, movement of um, Christ versus guy yeah, guy. the Ukrainian um, Jewish gypsy oh, sure, uh, population running from uh, Tsar Nicholas II's purges in 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 various parts of Russia, and uh, because Russia, if Russia is not purging one group of people, they're purging another. Uh, and uh, anyway, it's that story, but instead of people, they're mice. And they're traveling to America, and Fievel gets separated from his from his family. Well, why is his name that? Because, I don't know, because I guess it sounds Eastern European. Oh. So, like, five all? F-I-V-E-L, I believe. It's, it's oh. Fivel. Like, swivel your fivel. Swivel your fivel. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was the tagline for the movie. And David Spade was This year, actor. watch, uh, Don Bluth's... Heartwarming animated feature about a mouse looking for Did his Don family. Did Don Bluth do that? Yeah, it was... Oh. I think it was his third movie. Don't cry or anything. It was burping, you ass. I think it was his third movie. I miss Don Bluth. Don he, Bluth made... Is he dead? Three good movies. Um... I think so. Or is he just super old? I think he's dead. Oh. Also, apparently he's... He's, like, the second cousin to Mitt Romney. Well, there you go. He made Swivel Your Fibble, and he's related to a glove. First off, it's called an American Tale, you uneducated ass. Get it right. Not on r slash Swivel Your Fibble. <laughs> That's... You're, we're gonna get put on a watch list and have the division agents come in and take us down. Yeah. Or one of the fucking... one of the main factions in Division 3. Or the swivels. America. No, wait. That's not... That's not American Tale. Fuck, that's West Side Story. Shit. Uh, it's, anime, it's a 1986 animated American uh, adventure film musical by Don Bluth. Uh, is Don Bluth still alive? Do I have the music? I feel like I have the music Oh, he's alive! Good for him. Hang on, do I have the music turned off in this? I do. I should turn that on. Turn the music on, get some beats going. I also quite like, even though it's a shitty movie, I also quite like Pebble and the Penguin. Who? Another Don Bluth movie, although not nearly as successful. Pebble a Penguin? Pebble and the Penguin. Who's Pebble? Uh, no, a Pebble. So, penguins have this thing where, t uh, to impress mates, they find shiny rocks and present them to them. What to their a mates. shitty thing. That's what humans do with wedding rings and gems. Yeah, but ours are expensive. 
<laughs> we're sh- you're sh- you're shouting at at the penguins at the, at the penguin exhibit at the zoo. Yeah, stupid fucking penguins. Ours are expensive. You're looking up at your. Ah, uh, yes, but money is a human construct. Well, fuck, fuck off. Fuck. I'm, they got me. I'll again. eat you fuck. for supper. You fucking. Bitch. Also, I like how you hopped up there using your strength when there was a ladder right next to there. Yeah, well, you can't. I mean, she don't get time for that. You know how many managers she'd have to talk to? That guy, that guy just exploded for no reason. I shot his napalm bag. S- sir, the division- Karen seems to be able to kill our guys really easy just by shooting our large, explosive-filled backpacks that you make us carry around. Do we- do we want to reconsider that as our- as our gear? No! They're, it's essential to our, our- our identity as the firemen! It's a cool because they're normally firemen cleaners. are meant to save people, but we're here to destroy them. Yeah, I get that, but I just don't think it's working in a practical sense. Fuck off, Jim! This is why you're not invited to the meet to the Christmas social. Christmas social? It's fucking like 1960s. You don't have Christmas socials, Aaron? No. I pity you. Fuck going, fuck going to stuff. Don't invite me to shit. I'm not going. You're still going to D&D tomorrow, though, right? Uh, oh, that's tomorrow. Isn't it? Yeah. I meant like, I meant like, like you know, you're talking about parties and garbage and outings. That just fire again. That paint can is freaking the fuck out. I think it's. I think it's. Oh, oh Jesus! Sir, she destroyed our red paint. God fucking damn it! Shit, that was do you know last... how long? Do you know how long it took for me to collect all that red paint? That was the last can in New York. Man, it was a good thing you were sliding over that box there and got your ass fucking filled with bullets. <laughs> Actually, the bolts push oh, him shit. over the box. Kind of jumped into that there a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna look up. Uh, I was gonna look up how to spell Fivel's name. Oh, yeah, I'll do it before this episode ends. Uh, Turn in next week to figure out how to say Swivel or Fivel. F I E V E L. F I E. F I E V E L. Foxtrot. Fivel. It's pronounced Fivel though. Oh well, not in America. Foxtrot Indigo Echo Victor Echo Lima. Alright, check this out, Adam. You get a little taste of that napalm. Let's that drop this can of napalm on a bunch of the garbage bags that are gonna go fling it off. Yeah. Take that garbage bags. Up, 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 America. This is how you get this is how you dispose of napalm the correct way, by the way. Do, 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 Although I suppose do, you could do, drop do. it on a bunch of innocent uh, Vietnamese people. What you should have done was, uh, you should have presented a situation that forces you into doing one singular action, even though it presents the illusion of a choice, and then fire the napalm at a group of civilians, uh, huddling in a refugee camp, and then make the, the player feel real bad about doing it, even though they didn't have a choice. Isn't that the uh, Spec Ops? Yeah. Is that what you're referring to? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, think, I guess I should have played that when it came out. It's a good game, though. I like that game. I, mean, I, I, I did play it, but... A lot of Jesus, a lot I, of it dust. It didn't really, uh, I don't know. It didn't really have that effect on me because it was like when I went into that, you like the the twist in that is that you end up bombing a bunch of innocent people, right? Oh, it's a dog. Oh, head dog. Hello, doggy. Can't pet dogs. How's oh, zero out of ten. No, don't. I'm just, I'm just getting a close up view of it. Can you even shoot the dog? Yes. Then don't do it. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> I will walk over and punch you in real life. Um, that the like the twist is that you end up bombing a bunch of innocent people, right? Yeah. Except, uh, I, like when I went into that set piece, I could see the people. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna not do that. But you have to. And then it's like, uh, go over and, and activate the the bombing thing and and use it. And I'm like, well, there's people over there. They're like, D- use it. I'm like, all right. Well, I guess they're all. I guess they're all, like, enemies or something, so I'll do it. And they're like, oh, you bombed a bunch of innocent people. Like, well, you didn't really give me a choice. It's kind of dumb. Where the fuck is this mission? Times Square. All right, we got to run to Times Square. Oh, man, you need, you need soda? That, that, well, the, how about run the fuck away? The reason that guy is doing so poorly in the apocalypse is because of his fashion sense. Jesus. <laughs> purple, an orange an orange scarf, purple coat, and green pants. Like Prince walking down the street. Oh, shit, there's buddies. Oh, yeah, paying attention. You're too busy looking at the moon. Good buddy. He got this, he said. 
You see Spider-Man swing overhead. Spider-Man helps! Like, you're the bad guy in this situation. Fuck! I don't need to do nothing. The division is here. I'm just doing it for school credit. Jake Gyllenhaal all right in that movie? In the new one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Okay. Um, if... Aside from one thing, which I won't spoil, this is how you do... Uh, mis uh, this is how you do uh, that character... Do you know who he plays in the movie? Mysterio. Yeah, okay, it's how you do Mysterio in in a movie. It's okay. it's amazing. It's really great. There's one segment about two-thirds of the way through the movie that's like, this is how you win a fight with illusions. It's amazing. It's, it's like, seriously, it's really cool. Um, that's cool. Also, he, he starts talking to people about, you know, he asks Spider-Man to follow him around and, and film car accidents that he causes. <laughs> he tricks people into having car accidents? Yeah. We gotta film it. There you go, Nightcrawler 2 confirmed. It's actually, it, it also ties into, like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe lore really well. Um, it's gr it's great. There's a there's a kind of a twist part. There's a main twist, and then uh, w with that twist, there's a secondary twist. And the secondary twist is way better than the main twist, because the main twist of the movie is that Mysterio was the bad guy all along. <sighs> Like, yeah, oh, obviously, man. right? Yeah. Uh, but there's another twist that goes with that that's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it, but I haven't couldn't be bothered to wait. Dad wanted to go see it with me. Yeah, well, My dad. I, I want to go see it with my dad. Tell dad to fly to fuck. Um, I'll go see it again, though. I'd like. I'd love to go see that movie again. Yeah, I'll, I'm I'm stuck in that point now where I'm not sure. We, I just wait until it comes out. Like, on, on, the, on video or something. You know, on VHS. Yeah. Oh, Fire Hydrant's still going. Everyone, yeah. hi hydrant party! Get the get the uh, get the barbecue. That's a terrible JPEG. Yeah, well, you know, this game is three years old. What do you want? Can you get me a bagel while we're out here? I hear Probably. New York has good bagels. Yeah, I had New York bagels once, though I've never been there. How? Uh, uh, Mom was coming back from somewhere in the states, and they had a stop over in New York, and her flight got like canceled or something, or pushed back or whatever. So they had a, they had some time to go out and roam around, and uh, mom ended up buying uh, buying a couple of bagels from a, you know a street cafe or whatever, and then brought them home and I had them that night. This is dodging all the gunfire. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I was saying the smallpox and stuff. It's just, it's it's it it's like one of the most it's one of the only times where I felt like the future is here, where. Future is now old. Some man. dude could make bagels in New York, you know, make them, put them in his shop. Somebody could buy them, then fly them thousands of miles across the world, and then be eaten on the same, you know, on the same day. Yeah. I was like, this bagel was made today in New York, and I'm eating it's it. It's good bagel too. Oh yeah, they're great. But it was just, it was really like, this is awesome. Have you ever had salmon on bagels? I heard that's a thing. Uh, if I did, I don't remember. Cause uh, there's a ba there's a bagel sandwich out there that's uh, you know bagel, and then like a you know those like um, egg, you know, like rounds or whatever, an egg round and then egg, egg smoked rounds? salmon and then cream cheese. What's an egg the, round? Like you cook an egg and you just like cut off the bit so it's round. Oh, you, so mean, like like a, a you mean like a poached egg? Or a poached egg or a fried egg that's been rounded. Oh, uh, I feel like you pour them into that into the same mold though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, binging with Babish did an episode about it uh, just the week, and uh, I'm like, that sounds gross to me. Cream cheese and salmon, smoked salmon and an egg. Like fuck me. Did you eat it? No. Had, oh, I, I thought the story was gonna end with then I had it and it was amazing. No, I haven't. I I'm, I'm too afraid to oh. try. I try. I eat anything once. Yeah, but I, if I'm at a restaurant, anything you're supposed to eat anyway. I'm not gonna eat like a snake or something. Unless you get real desperate. Well, maybe, yeah. If somebody said it was, like, the greatest food of all time, I might give it a shot. Where the fuck is this mission at? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, we can probably end this episode. All right. Next time, Karen will f look what continue the, to look oh. for the manager and a joke that's beyond that. What the fuck is that? He, he wheeled himself there and had a nap. Dogs eat pigs. Oh, haha. <laughs> it's funny because...